Good morning, everybody, and happy Tuesday live stream. It is day two of my um, Fallout 4 Hope St. Jude's Charity Fundraiser, which I've been participating with every year. And uh, you guys were so extremely generous yesterday during yesterday's broadcast. Uh, even though it was only the first day, we already raised $3,957 for charity. And many of you donated after the camera went dark. Uh, the top donors now this morning are Anastasia at the top with a $500 donation to St. Jude's Vic Whiplash Nomad, The Wiz 453, and Bustavo. Amazing charity donations. Thanks to each and every one of you. We've still got two days left of charity broadcasts today and tomorrow. So if you haven't had a chance to donate to St. Jude's, uh, you can find a link in the description below. Or it's pinned at the top of this chat. Or if you're one of those high-tech Zoomers, you've got a, a QR code right on the screen right there that you can snap and go on over to donate to St. Jude's. Thanks everybody so far for participating. And today is really special because they released the Atlantic City Expedition for Fallout 76. Um, I Now, I don't have all of the details, so please take what I'm gonna say with a grain of salt. But yesterday the chat was telling me that they were releasing the Atlantic City update in two parts. One was the expedition part and one was the quests and the lore part. Uh, so I wasn't really expecting much from Atlantic City today, to be honest. But then when I was reading the patch notes, it mentioned a number of quests and a number of NPCs that are available. So I think there will be some lore there and some story, and I'm hoping that we're going to have a great time exploring it today. Loving this title screen music, by the way. This jazzy Atlantic City music is wonderful. J Long 8986 became a bronze ox. Thank you so much, J Long. Rachel Bear says, been looking forward to this all morning. Yay, Ox. Yay, Rachel. Glad you're here today. Julian Z says, hi, Ox. Hope Atlantic City is good. Excited to see it. Me too. Me too. I have high hopes. I hope there are lots of different locations to explore and wonderful, wonderful loot. My problem with the pit, um, well, I had a number of problems with the pit. Hey, donation by Slatty Bartfast. Thank you so much, Slatty Bartfast, for helping out the kids. My uh, biggest problem, I think, with Expeditions is that it was so uh, big and empty, really. Uh, that when you get there, it's just this huge, sprawling ruin with monsters and bad stuff, and it just felt b uh, kind of empty because... It was all the same. It was just ruin, 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 ruin. Very few NPCs to talk to. Baddie, 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 ruin, ruin. And that gets boring to explore, right? Uh, it's kind of like the, what's it called? The burrows. The burrows in Fallout 76 was probably one of the worst updates because you go into a sewer and it's just sewer room after sewer room after sewer room with never ending spawning monsters and there is a story there if you can get to it and piece it together but uh, trying to explore it is tedious and boring and that's kind of how i felt with expeditions uh, with um with the pit uh, however i'm hoping uh, you know everything that i've seen about atlantic city has been uh really varied and diversified and Interesting and lots of different set pieces lots of different locations lots of different people and things to talk to And so I'm hoping that that's gonna be the way that it is when we get there Julian Z says do we have any previous lore in it in Atlantic City none that I know of I mean we you know about what I do Atlantic City It's a gambling town in New Jersey. That's about all I know um, But since this is the prequel we're probably going to be exploring the quote-unquote previous lore now. I mean, that's what it's going to be. It's, it's today. Alt Grendel says, Chat has been ta uh, talking about Grand Theft Auto 6. Wondering if you had any thoughts about it. Um, as someone who has never played a Grand Theft Auto game, 
I don't have any thoughts about the Grand Theft Auto franchise. Um, I love Rockstar because of what they did with uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, which is an amazing game, but I've never actually played the um, Grand Theft Auto games. Um, I don't know if I would play it if it comes out. Maybe I would just to try it out and see what it's like. It doesn't really seem like my style of game. Uh, but, you know, I've played lots of other games that weren't necessarily my style and ended up really enjoying them. So who knows? Zach Taylor says, Hi, Ox. I'm so happy to see you play 76 live again. Thank you, Zach Taylor. I'm thrilled to be here live again. And it's good to see everybody on uh, Twitch. J. Paul, hello you Oxy people. Santuff, yay, Ox stream. Good to see you, Santa. Uh, Fought Newt says, nice hat, hat Ox. Thank you very much, Fought Newt. And it's good to be live on Facebook. Stephen Williams, Robin Woodell. Mr. Jock says, I played Fallout 76 when it first launched, but found the lack of interactive NPCs made it boring gave up playing until the first DLC brought in interactive DLCs. Uh, yeah. You know, that's a common refrain that many people felt when playing Fallout 76. It was a bold strategy to launch a game with no one to talk to. Um, I understand why they did it. It is a post-apocalyptic wasteland. They kind of wanted it to be a hardcore. One thing I've noticed, uh, maybe I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but one thing I think I've noticed with many of the developers, um, at Bethesda, especially Todd Howard, is that they really want Fallout to be this like hardcore gaming experience. They want it to be brutal and ruthless. And they were really excited when they released the hardcore mode for Fallout 4, the survival mode or whatever. Because that, that's how they really imagined the, the gameplay to be. But they felt restrained by their fan base because they just couldn't make it as brutal as they wanted. And I kind of get the impression that Fallout 76 they thought it was going to be this really tough and survivalistic and brutal game that people were just going to, you know, really get into that. Daniel donated 20 bucks to St. Jude. Thank you so much, Daniel. Uh, which is why we had such oppressive hunger and thirst and disease. And, it, you know, there was no one to talk to and you could only survive by grouping with other people. And some of the bosses weren't, you couldn't solo them and yada yada. Yeah, I think they quickly learned that that's just not what their player base wanted. <laughs> they didn't want that sort of brutal hellscape. They kind of wanted an amusement park, a Fallout-themed amusement park, where they can dress up in fancy costumes and share emojis. And <laughs> that's what the Fallout fan base wanted to play. So that's what they've made them. Uh, Steven Quinn says, Hey, Ox, did you know about the Blue Moon update? Yeah, I briefly went over a list of many of the updates uh, that I haven't really covered yet. Uh, the Blue Ridge Caravan had a couple of new things that uh, were released as well. Uh, but I don't think I have time to go over and, and cover absolutely everything that is released um, that I've missed since the last time. Void says, Yo, Oxhorn, the Brotherhood of Steel... Uh, Void says, Yo, Oxhorn, the Brotherhood of Steel in the teaser trailer has been confirmed to be located in Wendover at a military base. Wendover is right in between Utah and Nevada. Interesting. Really? Huh. At the Wendover military base. That is interesting. Well, I can't wait to learn how they explain that. McDonald's worker says, hey there, Ox. Hope you're having a good day. Thank you so much, McDonald's worker. I'm having a great one. Good to see you on the program. All right, let's dive into the game. Just remember, if you haven't donated to charity this year and you were feeling generous and you want to be charitable, now's a great opportunity. Go ahead and donate to the kids of St. Jude's. We've had some wonderful years uh, for working for this charity in the past, and I'm thrilled to be back at it today. I hope you guys can um, um, step to the plate and uh, uh, meet and match what you did yesterday. You guys were so generous yesterday, 
and I am excited to see what we can do today and tomorrow. All right, here we are in the Atlantic City loading screen. Come on. There we go. All right, Atomic Shop stuff. Let's get all our free junk. Uh, all right, free. Uh, Vault 33 jumpsuit. Hey. Okay, how did this end up in Appalachia? Whoa, Knight Paladin Eleanor with a very generous $115 donation to St. Jude's. Thank you so much, Knight Paladin Eleanor. This item, okay, how did this end up in Appalachia? This is a Vault 33 vault suit from the TV show. Awesome. I got my Vault 33 jumpsuit. Anything else here? Let's go to camp. Oh, I wish I could sort by available and free. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, am I gonna have to go item by item, row by row? Free, free, not new, I want free. Wow, they've got so much stuff here, <laughs> so much. This is all new, like I didn't even recognize that. There we go, weather station. Oh, I read about this. Uh, you can now change the weather in your camp. You can have each and every one of your camps has its own localized weather station. Boggy weather got you down? No problem. Keep the sun shining all the time in your camp with this clear weather control station. Weather control station will change weather in the camp radius when connected to power. Pretty cool. Great for taking awesome screenshots. Wait, was there another one? There's another free thing that I missed? Ah, dear God. Random Fandom says, Pre prepare to evade taxes, Zox. Are there taxes in this game now? There isn't even a local government in this game. Oh, that's the original. Oh, that's the uh, Vault Boy 2000. Yeah, from Fallout 1. Oh, they went all in. Wow, that looks great. Hey, Gaia Projects. So many donations to charity coming through. Thank you so much. All right, I, I, I can't keep looking for it because I can't find it. And then we got a utility. I must be blind. There we go, caps. All right, one more tr ch uh, try. I'm going to try once more to find the the free item. Because it says one more free item at least. Oh, there they are. Okay, so we've got a neon die sign. Let them roll. Oh, that's going to be cool. Do you feel lucky, Wastelander? Why don't you let it roll? Unlocked for free for everyone due to community engagement in the free cam challenge. All right, and then we've got a pride flag bundle. Do we get more than one uh, flag? All right, I'm guessing we've got more than one pride flag there. And there we go. That's all the free stuff. Yay. Now, let's go to character. Oxhorn. Yeah. Play. Uh, well, uh, I guess my only fear now is I hope I don't have to go grind for ammunition. I forget exactly how much ammo I had on this character. I just want to get in and play the uh, expedition, not grind for ammo. Greg Williams says, what do sea monsters eat fish and ships? I'm here all night. Also, how much is Raid Foe St. Jude's? Thanks for all you do. Uh, so far, we have raised... Oop, hold on. I feel well-tuned. Right, my, my camp is going to load in here. And if I don't jump away, I'm going to get stuck. Ah, ah, ah. 
All right, how much ammo do I? Pip Boy is unavailable. All right, gotta wait for everything to load in. Just gotta wait a little bit. Uh, we're at. We passed the four thousand dollar mark. We're at four thousand one hundred and seventy-seven. Amazing. All right, can I use my Pip Boy now? Yeah. Now let me turn the uh, ammo or the, <laughs> the sound up. There we go. Okay. All right, I got plenty of Gauss rifle ammunition. That's great. I'm low on shotgun. Well, guess I'll be using my Gauss rifle. All right, and then there was a new miscellaneous uh, quest, I believe. I got a notification just when I jumped in. Uh, these are daily miscellaneous. Speak to sweet water. Is that the new one? Let's, uh... No, that, that's not the new one, is it? I thought we had to go to... Oh, uh, White Springs. I thought we had to go to White Springs. This unit will not be accepting requests to sit on Santa's Yeah, that's where everyone lap. is. We right, so apologize for the inconvenience. More donations keep piling in. Thank you so much. No, 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 no. Uh, Shoes are starting to get holes in them. White Spring Refuge. Oh, that's new. Okay, so we can go straight to the White Spring Refuge. That's great. I got a veiled threat from Orlando the other day telling me they'd reprogram me if I'm not more positive. All right, we got another notification that was there was a new miscellaneous quest. But I don't think... I don't think... Sweetwater Mr. Della Ripper only likes to organize his stamps. Oh, Nothing just gonna else. keep talking. Oh, if only okay, I want to take an expedition and I want to go to Atlantic City. And I'm trying to remember... Try and remember how to uh, go about that. It ain't broke? Then double check. It's probably broke. If you're caught out and about with no place to go, the responders have an outpost. Good to see you back. Uh, need any help at the moment? Uh, nothing right now. Believe that or not. Checking again soon, though. Almost always something that needs doing around here. In the map, press R, says Chad. Oh, what? What? When did they I change this? I think I heard a Protectron bark the other day. Am I going crazy? Oh. Atlantic City tax evasion aid Billy belt buckles in committing tax fraud. District, okay. Oh, the most sensate. Oh, what? You think wow. with all that tinker and Skippy does that he'd come up with something more medicinal? Let's try that. Cool. Ollie Cat says that's always been there. I mean, no. It hasn't always been there. When I first covered the pit expeditions, they forced you to go on a ridiculous quest where you had to go collect batteries in order to charge up the vertebrates so you could actually travel 
to the pit in order to do the quest. I don't know what they were thinking. This is much better. You can actually just go straight into it. All right, uh, request landing. Touching down. Hey, uh, I'm Billy. Th this is a bit awkward. You're here to help, right? Meet me in front of the Neapolitan when you land. It's the big casino. You can't miss it. Billy, belt buckles. All right, let's go to the casino. Well, here we are. Okay. Ooh. Oh, it's a sprawling urban wasteland. Looks, looks a lot like Watoga. All right, so that's where we need to go for the quest destination. Let's see where this might lead. Oh! Ah! Okay, well, we, uh, we've got enemies here. Let's see. Is that not three? Oh, that should be four. Well, where did I put... Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's been a while. Julian Z says, Ox, are you going to do both areas today? I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so there's our quest destination. Let's see. It's over here, though. Oh, I'm gonna get lost. Tell you what, let's go get the quest, and then we'll just explore and get lost. You're not the brightest Lots star in the sky, are you? The slots again. Or that the sharpest ruin our in the shed, as some say. <laughs> Look, can't we just let bygones be bygones? I mean, this wasn't what I signed up for. I'm afraid not. Not until you cough up the caps you owe Mother and the rest of us. Or you'll be coughing up blood instead. Please. What about my children? Hey, I'm Mark 17! I've seen your dossier, Billy. You don't have any children. I... Well... <laughs> it was worth a shot! <laughs> okay. Alright. Thank you for the donation! To St. Jude's. I'm telling you, I don't know anything! They've really lowered their standards letting you in, haven't they? Now, belt buckles. Do you mind telling me where our dues are? Don't call me belt buckles! Only a wise guy can say that! You won't have any belts left to buckle when I'm done with you. Now, please, answer the question before I'm forced to alert my associates. What's the problem here? You came just in time! Shut up, Billy! This... boy... Is a mobster. His a uh, <laughs> organization owes us a substantial amount of caps, and they're using this Einstein to skirt around paying their dues. <laughs> I won't stand for it. There's Thank you, rules Anonymous. in Atlantic City. Want to know the most important one? Don't cheat the showman. Um. Who are the showmen? New in town, huh? Well, I'll put it to you real simple. We make the magic go round in Atlantic City. 
the shows, the talent, the music, it all comes from us. We're masters of the disappearing act. We can pass a charisma check of three plus to say he's clearly harmless. Hurting him won't get you your money. Eh, maybe you're right. <laughs> There's nothing to gain from killing this fool. You're off the hook, belt buckles. For now. What a name. Okay, whoa, and he just hightails it out of there. Okay, showman, you go do your showman thing. All right, let's talk to belt buckles here. James 17 says, for the cure to rabies and bad birth control. Huh? What? I don't think, I think you, James, I think you might misunderstand what we're doing here. We're, St. Jude, it's cancer research. It has nothing to do with rabies. Uh, well, thank you. Thank you for the donation, James. Very that kind, extremely kind. James. Thanks for getting me out of that. He told me he would use my belts to turn me into a Christmas ribbon. I'm the accountant for the family around here. But the job is, uh, not what I thought it would be. I could really use your help. Thomas says bat as in 76 Scorch Beast bat. Oh, was that a reference to the Scorch Beasts? Okay, yeah, well, we already kind of solved that in the Wastelanders DLC. We got uh, Nuka-Cola, my blood's in it, right? That was the cure. Already done. What do you need help with? My job itself. I don't think I could do this. I thought being an accountant was all about money. Turns out, it's not. I handled the money, but there's been uh, expectations put on me that I wasn't aware of. Desperate times call for desperate measures, they said. Except it all flows downhill to me, and it's not really my wheelhouse. I could really use your help taking on these extra responsibilities. And then my dad won't be mad at me. Can't you just quit? Quit? You can't just quit the family. It's a lifetime commitment, and most of the time, we're born into it. Plus, I'm in too deep now. It's too late to just walk away. What kind of things do they ask you to do? Well, lie. They want me to say that we didn't earn as much money as we did, so we'd owe the showmen and the munis less. And then, I've got to hide the money to make it look real. If anybody asks questions, I'm supposed to make them disappear. I know you might expect that from uh, the family, but this is really not typical of us. <laughs> We're supposed to be allies with the munis and the showmen. Yeah, we're gangsters, but we don't do gangster things. That's not us. <laughs> Why are you so obsessed with belts? <laughs> well, ask that jerk Sal Sticky Fingers. He'll tell you what he did. I'd rather not talk about it. How come the Muni? All right, Billy, I'll help you. Thank goodness for that. You're just in time, too. I promise I'll make it worth your while. Okay. First things first. Have you ever left incriminating evidence just lying around accidentally for anyone to find because you forgot to incinerate it? A relatable problem, oh, I yeah. know. <laughs> well, we've got a lot of uh, monetary assets to hide temporarily during the audit. We've stashed them all around here. Uh, if you could find them and, and toss them where the sun don't shine, that would definitely be a weight off me. Hmm. I'm gonna head to Quintino's. If you need me, you know where to find me. Quintino's, uh, optional, pick up inconspicuous assets. Right. I said I could get 
assets in the truck, right? All right, I picked up one asset. <clears throat> Thank you, Michael S.
Okay. Invisible wall, uh, invisible wall. Can't go that way. Wait, I'm just running down the clock right now. Just hoping that uh, I survive until I, I'm guessing they just don't stop. So I'm thinking the po I think there's no point to fighting. I guess just just try to survive. Don't tell me I actually got them all. Okay, pick up inconspicuous assets and toss them in the trucks. So I've got, I've got the trucks marked. And I know I picked up one. Don't mess with my city, punk. Pete's sake, really? Um. All right. I'm trying to figure out where the rest of the inconspicuous. Is. They just. Oh my God! <laughs> I will find. <laughs> <laughs> what? Is 
that? <laughs> Did you see that? There was like 20 guys there. What even is that? <laughs> it's like someone used console commands to just spawn 50 guys there. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Right, we're just gonna run away again. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. Just run away. All right, 30 seconds until the optional uh, quest objective t uh, goes off. I thought I had a, gr a grenade equipped, but apparently not. Um. I don't have a lot of grenades. Okay, well now that the clock is off, are these guys gonna stop spawning? So I can, you know, do the quest? There's still a thousand guys over here. There is no such thing as time off Someone's when here. the city is filled to the brim with corruption. <laughs> yep. Yep, there are. Well, this quest really wasn't uh, designed for uh, a sniper, was he? They're all throwing Molotov.
Do I have any kind of gun that's got... I mean, I created this character to... Uh, here we go. into a bad part of town, apparently. There is no escape. Come back here. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> you know what? I think they spawned a lot of guys here thinking this was a multiplayer game, but for a multiplayer game, I feel pretty alone right now. There's no one else here. And this is launch day for Atlantic City, and there is no one else here. <laughs> God!
Overgrown pollinator. What in the... These guys are really, uh, they're really committed to their job. Do we, do, does Atlantic City really need a, a, a hundred tax collectors? Z says, Ox, this is an instance. Remember, of course you're alone. I'll turn your is it? To a oh. Okay. So everyone who goes to Atlantic City gets their own version of Atlantic City? But it seems like that's a lot of people to throw at a solo player. I imagine that they assumed that everyone would be multiplaying this. Which is why they had literally a hundred guys spawn. But this seems it seems like a lot of enemies for a solo player if it was intended to be an instanced dungeon. I, I guess I suppose they, they could have intended it to be with the group. Maybe it's a an instance, like a, a group instance. Okay, well I still need to get the inconspicuous assets and toss them into the back of the truck. Practicus says, just do the objective. What do you think I'm trying to do? As soon as I get close to the objective, a swarm of a hundred tax collectors spawn and try to collect taxes from me <laughs> with violence. Okay, now the trucks are no longer tagged. Gather assets, we'll do that again. Okay, I'm carrying a piece of the family's fortune. I shall again try to put this into a truck. I heard something. Something puny. Whoops. I'll still be here, waiting for you. Toss them in the trucks. Okay. Are they grenades? Until my job is done. Oh. They're, they're grenades. I gotta literally that toss sucks. them in the truck. I was hoping for some action. There's no going back. I will find you. Oh my god. <laughs> There's the asset. <laughs> Buttercup. It's time for your audience. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I think I get what I have to do now. Yeah. I gotta run up to the cart filled with assets. 
which is surrounded by a hundred tax collectors. I then have to throw them into the back of the trucks, which is a foot away from the assets to begin with, <laughs> and hope that I don't get killed, because they just keep respawning. <laughs> What a flash, come on. Oh. <laughs> and it's not like they've all got pipe pistols. They have rocket launchers, flamers, machine guns. <laughs> These are some some intense tax collectors, guys. <laughs> oh. What the hell? Oh my god. Can I go in here? Yay! I'm just gonna go inside. Just forget this. <laughs> who, who designed this? Who thought this was a good idea? This is just the worst quest I think you could possibly design. Just, <laughs> it is not smart. Wow. Um, RCG3 says, yeah, Ox, you're supposed to make a group for these expeditions, just like the pit, then start it. Uh, these are hard to do solo, but you can. Yeah, and I'm thinking that's what, it, like, <laughs> the, th the, th the frustration for me is that even before Fallout 76 launched, they said you could play it solo. Yes, it was a multiplayer game. Yes, it was designed to have multiplayer aspect, but you could play it solo. And that's what I have striven to do from the very beginning, was to demonstrate how much of the game you could play solo. Now, there are still some things that I've never done, uh, just because you really can't um, do them by yourself. Like, kill the Wendigo Colossus. I, I've never killed the Wendigo Colossus, because that's something you just can't do by yourself, I don't think. But I want to be able to do these expeditions by myself. But that, <laughs> what we just saw, I mean, I'm sure there are some players who are so OP and they have such powerful weapons and so much ammunition that they could do that by themselves. But me, I designed this guy to be a sniper because I've played the entire game solo, which means I can't run into combat, aggro everything, and just, you know, shoot, you know, destroy everything with with all of my friends and all of that. I've, I've created this guy to play the game solo, and so he stands back. He's a long-range sniper rifle kind of guy who sometimes gets up close and personal with the shotgun and it takes, his, it takes out as many guy, uh, enemies as he can from a distance. That's what I designed him to be. I don't have a respec. Like, I don't have an alternative deck of cards. This is my guy, and that's... No, he's not designed for that. He can't do that. Uh, Michael McDonald says, hey, Ox, it can be soloed, just more powerful builds. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, I mean, I haven't changed my build, you know, in five years, really, since since I started playing uh, Fallout 76, so. Yeah, I suppose in order to, to properly enjoy this DLC, I really need to sit down and grind for cards and keep on grinding for more levels and more cards and... <clears throat> creating another build that's designed for, you know, summoning ammunition out of thin air and then wasting it all on hordes of enemies. But that's uh, not the kind of guy I have. Okay, uh, well, we ran inside for a temporary respite from all of that. Uh, I wonder if that means we can now sneak outside, grab the... <laughs> we gotta fill it. It's just not... Like, we're one-third of the way there for each dump truck. This is just so silly. Let's try again. Stealth! I've also specced into stealth. So let's see if I can, you know, use the spec that I've specced into, stealth, to try and stealth this. So far, so good. Maybe I should have just tried to stealth this from the beginning, even though they spawned a thousand guys right on top of me. Ah! 
I am a sneaky power armor guy. Here we go. You cannot detect me. No, oh, they detected me. What are you doing in there? Oh, run away! Oh. <laughs> just, a, just a thousand guys. Just a thousand. Oh, I'm gonna solo this with a Gauss rifle, man, because it's in the game and I should be able to use it. Doc gun it. <laughs> Alright, where am I? Where oh, there's a dead guy here. That's a mob torture. We've got some rat away. I'm, I'm almost done. Uh, how many deaths will it take me? I don't know. Am I losing ammunition or endurance or something? <laughs> My body just got tossed. Okay, uh, where do I need to go? I need to go over here. Cheese it. Oh, wow. Wow. I don't know, man. I, th I think I must be like uh, the wrong kind of Fallout player. Like when I think of a Fallout game and when I want to play a Fallout game, I think of finding, sprawling, urban ruin <clears throat> filled with interesting characters and lore and methodically going through it, having moments of, you know, intense battles and strategy and all of that. But reading notes and hollow tapes and understanding the lore and, you know, immersing myself in the location. But this is just a thousand guys with guns and missile launchers and flamers and you. And just, it's like a battle royale. It, <laughs> it, it's Fallout Battle Royale in Atlantic, in Atlantic City. Oh my god, look at that. Hey, Blue Ridge Ocean! Wow, wow. Mm, nasty way to go. Finally. I'm gonna wait till they all leave, because this just. Nah! <clears throat> Higher. Invisible ceiling. <laughs> Whoops, 
deadlift you easy. Jeez, look at all these guys. <laughs> Am I out of skin packs? I might be out of skin packs. I feel like it's getting worse. <laughs> I was plowing through them for a while there, but it's getting worse. All right, there's one of those devils, a lesser devil. Alt Grendel says, Za Ox, I know you said you set up as a sniper, but it looks to me as if I'd like you to. Little blood never killed anyone. <laughs> Anyway, he says that I that I should have an SMG for this. Yeah, yeah, obviously. This, is, this entire thing is set up for somebody who's not me, who's, who's not this build. You need a big gun and an SMG, and it shoots a lot of ammunition, and ammunition is just not something you worry about, apparently, because you've got ammo factories, and I don't know. I don't know how people keep tons of ammo in this game. It's always been a struggle for me. To keep ammo. I've already gone through like 300 rounds. I'll never rest until my job is done. Hope you like the taste of lead. Child play. Uh, Thomas McCormick says this is where all those IRS agents went to work after the hiring boom from a few years back. Yeah, I mean this is a lot of really dedicated IRS agents. They they just they are dedicated to their job. This is amazing. <laughs> Gotti Dot became a silver ox. Just oh my god. <laughs> right. <clears throat> um man, I would I would love to to explore this DLC. It, That'd be great. Let's see. Um, I'd love to talk to a person and do a quest and, you know, maybe explore some casino games because it's Atlantic City and maybe lose a couple thousand caps. But, you know, it's all in good fun because, you know, we're gambling and that's a... Oh, that's one of the stretch limos, right? Oh, who, who saw me? Who saw me? I am going to stick to the grass. Maybe it's a glitch. I, I'm. <laughs> maybe it's a glitch, and they're not supposed to be that many guys there. Maybe I'm doing something that's causing more to spawn. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's unintentional. We have to remember this is day one of Atlantic City, and uh, it, it could be that it's a glitch, and that that many people are not supposed to spawn. I don't know. I'm just. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot of guys. Okay. All right. We got this. Hey! Chef Breccia! Thank you so much, Chef! Alright, Western. We've done Southern, we've done Northern. All for Pete's sake. Western. Mr. Jock T says, stick to the grass because no one's going to notice a seven foot tall armored suit sneaking around. I know, logic. It just makes sense, guys. All right, I think I got to do this three more times, one for each truck. Move up. Oh, come on. I am stealthed. Come on. What?
Julian Z says, Ox, you shouldn't have started the quest. Less spawn that way. I mean, yeah, yeah, I, just, I should just not play the game, right? There's even less spawn if you just don't play the game. Man, I should have thought of that instead of starting quests and, you know, actually playing the game. I should have just not played it. Then I wouldn't have had any spawn. Takes so long. Let's end this. Go, go, go. Uh, <laughs> yeah, one more to go. If I can survive. Savian says, good to see you, Oxhorn. It's been a, a long time. Yes, it has, my friend. It's good to see you, too. This is the first quest. This isn't even the first quest. This is just the first introduction to the mobs of this world. <laughs> like, we've talked with one guy, and we're trying to get through the tutorial section <coughs> of this DLC. Just phenomenal. Just phenomenal. One more to go! <laughs> Southern! Oh, God! Bring it, labor! <laughs> oh. Hey, James Lofthouse. Thank you so much, James. <clears throat> uh, Merjum says, is the revenue from YouTube going to charity? Uh, the revenue from the Super Chats are is going to charity. Uh, because I donate that manually after the broadcast has ended. But if you want to donate directly to charity, you need to use the links in the description and in the chat, pinned in the chat, or use the QR code, which is on the screen, um, because um, that goes directly to St. Jude's. Mr. Jock says, does running inside that building reset the quest? No, but it helps me lose aggro. So I'm just waiting to kind of lose aggro. I've got one more of these inconspicuous assets that were piled in a giant crate right in front of the door um, that I need to toss into one of the trucks, which are also right next to the door. <laughs> Let's try this. Are they going to aggro me as soon as I step outside? <clears throat> Cracker Jack says, does anyone know how to get to Atlantic City? I can only go to the pit when I talk to the responder pilot. Do I have to do the pit first? No, you, you're doing the same thing that I did. I thought that's how you had to get there too because, you know, that's how they trained us to do it in, in, during the pit. But apparently you press R. Just anywhere, you just press R and then you can choose go to Atlantic City or the pit. Yeah. They had this entire thing, the fuel cell thing, where you had to go farming for fuel cells before you could go to the pit. Apparently, they've abandoned that because <laughs> it was ridiculous that you had to do that before you could, you know, play the game and enjoy the content that was new. Um, weird decision to begin with. <clears throat> but they abandoned that, and now you, you just press R. Press R, and you can go straight there. Wow, this is taking a long time to load. Whoops, did I break something?
This is like um, Fallout 76 launch, launch day in 2018 load times. Thomas McCormick says the worrying aspect about Fallout 76 is you can see the influence it had on the development on, of Starfield makes me worried for Elder Scrolls 6 and Fallout 5. You'd have to elaborate on that comment a bit because I don't really see a connection between Fallout 76 and Starfield. Um, they're very, very different games. Maybe there's a, a, a specific aspect of the gameplay that you think is also seen in Starfield. I, I don't see the connection. Wow, what? Uh... Blue Ridge Ocean says, man, this came out in 2018. I thought it was 2019. When was it? Was it? I thought it was 2018. Was it 2018? Could be 2019. Draco Lawson says, how is 76 connected to the other fallouts? Um, it takes place 25 years after the apocalypse. So this game is a prequel to all of the other games. And it takes place in West Virginia, in Appalachia. Am I still loading? Wow. What? What? Is, am I having an internet problem? No, I'm still streaming. What? This is... <laughs> uh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I can't move. Oh no! <laughs> oh, this is like the good old days of Fallout 76 with the glitches and the bugs and the crazy things. Oh, how I miss those days! <laughs> Come on! What? I'm stuck! I can't move! <laughs> I'm perpetually falling! Oh no! Oh, what is going on? Maybe if I get out of my power armor? Hey, there we go. Oh no, and I'm not in my power armor. <laughs> man. Oh, guys. I don't know, man. I just don't know. This uh <laughs> This is not this is not what I was expecting, everybody. A tap. I'm going to give up. I'm just going to give up there. Yeah, just I'll take that one. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, it's probably just me. It's probably my poor skill set and uh, my lack of actually working on my character. It's my stubbornness to try and play it like a single player game is what it is. It's it's not the game. It's it's me and my my lack of abilities. <clears throat> okay. How long have we been broadcasting? Are we we're on the an hour and 20 minute mark? Right. Let's see if we can finish this first quest. Um one more to go. this invisible thing that's in my way. Yay! I, I did it! I hear a lot less gunfire outside, so that's a good sign. Head to the Neapolitan. I've, uh, got a bit more work for you. Okay, there's something the in showmen are holding up the Neapolitan as we speak, demanding their fair dues, which is really quite unfair, if you ask me. They've placed some listening bugs around the casino to drop in on our conversations. A clear violation of privacy. Track down all the listening bugs and disable them. We can't have the showman knowing about all the trustworthy above board things we're doing. Okay, uh, well there was like an invisible wall that was preventing me from moving. What? What? Alright, I'm going inside. I'm just going inside. Where'd the door go? 
Where's the door? I can't, I can't, I can't go inside. The door is gone. Ah, what's happened? The, enter the Neapolitan. The <laughs> oh, Bethesda, why are you doing this to me? Bethesda, come on, man. I just want to play your game. <laughs> and they're all firing at me. Oh, it's not as many as last time. Ah, it's a, is that invisible? Is there an invisible guy with a rocket launcher? Ah, where are the rockets coming from? Oh, come on, where's the door? <laughs> I'm about to die! There's no door! <sighs> guys, guys, is this, is it? Oh, Molotov cocktail! <laughs> Where are they though? Like, well, <laughs> they're invisible. <laughs> they're invisible. What do I do? Okay, maybe by dying, maybe by dying, I can, I can, the door is back now because it was there before and then I died a lot and glitched a lot. All right, let's hope the door's back. <laughs> no, it's not back. The door's still gone. No. No. <laughs> I'm gonna die again. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no. All right. I don't know how much longer I can do this, everybody. <laughs> I'm really trying my best to get to to show you what this Atlantic City DLC has to offer. Um, <laughs> I'm I'm trying my best here. My best just is not good enough. Oh, my power armor is probably broken. No, it's not. What do you know? Did I not have a torso equipped? No, there's my torso. Okay, I just had an extra torso. Okay, uh, well, we've got disappearing pieces over there. You see that? Oh, that's lovely. Just disappearing floor pieces. Uh, and invisible enemies. The enemies are invisible. I can't even see them. <laughs> I can't fight back. I'm trying to... Is Well, is there a, supposed to be a building there? We've got hovering billboards. I'm not using mods or anything. Like, I, I've got default settings. Exuberant says, uh, thinking of leaving and re-entering the expedition is warranted. Yeah, but if I leave, am I going to have to do that quest over? I don't want to do that over. <laughs> I, I worked for an hour and 20 minutes to do that one part of the quest to throw three bags in the back of a truck. I, an hour and a half. Because there were a thousand guys. I don't want to do that over. Do I? Is, am I going to have to do that? Zone out and z come back in, says Chris. I, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to have to do that all over again. You have to. You have a checkpoint. Oh. Oh. Okay. Great. Well, then, how do I leave? Um. Uh. Daniel Holmes says, uh, new for Fallout 76, Death Simulator. That's what it feels like. All right, so do I just fast travel back to camp, maybe? Checkpointed progress will be saved. You may return to the active expedition anytime at no additional cost. Did I pay something to come? Team members will be returned to Appalachia. Okay. Well, let's reset this experience. And hopefully the door will be there. So that we can enter the casino. <clears throat> or the hotel or whatever it is. Okay, back at camp. Yay.
Current expedition. Aid Billy belt buckles in coming tax fraud. T, resume expedition. Axon Media Los Angeles says $194.66 away from the one-third mark. Can we get to the one-third mark in today's broadcast? We're so close. Thank you all for your generosity. Okay, we're back. And we gotta, we just gotta get, we gotta get there. All right, the buildings appear to have loaded incorrectly. That's good. <clears throat> RCG3 says even the main world still has a lot of these glitches. Only fix is to leave and re-enter. And no, you didn't pay anything to come. That's left over. Right, from when you had to go and get those batteries. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, where is it? Uh, it's over here. I'm trying to remember. Yeah. I am paranoid now. I am paranoid there's going to be a, a million invisible men with flamers and missile launchers and Molotov cocktails just standing right outside waiting for me. The door is there! Yay! Okay, disable the bugs in the kitchens. Optional, speak to Sal Sticky Fingers. Hello, Sal. You look l like uh, a nerd, I guess. Can you, can you help me out with this damn thing? Finally! <laughs> I was running out of angles to play to get your precious attention. <laughs> you and I are gonna make a fat stack of caps today, kid. You got a name? Ah, who needs names anyways? <laughs> My first name, business. My last name, maker. Wait, no. Money. It's money maker. All right, I, I give up. Yeah, okay, I, I, I just need help. You look helpful. Help me. Um, <clears throat> who are you exactly? Are you supposed to be here? Supposed to be? <laughs> no, probably not. But the real question is, should I be? And I would say the answer to that question, sir, is yes. The name's Sal, short for Salvatore. I work adjacent to the family. I'm known around here as a cat-making machine. Uh, all right. <clears throat> you still haven't told me what you need help with, but sure, I'll just go ahead and agree to it. Now that's the entrepreneurial spirit I like to see. All right, kid, clean out your earwax and listen to my dulcet tones. Here's what I need you to do. You see this terminal here? It controls the anti-cheat system here in the casino. If it detects anyone trying to swindle the family, it, uh, let's just say it, it takes out the trash, so to speak. But if you and I can power it back on, we can pocket whatever the cheaters stole before they got caught. Other thing is, I've maybe tampered with some of the slot machines in here myself while the system was down. I improved them. Now they just take your caps without even running. I streamlined the whole process. I need you to go get the caps I farmed from them. Right. Well, I'm always down for more caps. Where can I find the improved slot machines? The slots? Oh, you'll find them all around the main floor of the casino. 
Although, it's possible the family may have foolishly decommissioned a few. If that's the case, there may be some in the storage rooms. Where is this cheating gambler you need me to find after I activate this thing? Now that's a tricky one. Uh, they could be anywhere around the casino, I guess. The main floor, the, the hotel wing, or possibly near the entrance. Just keep your eyes peeled for a well-dressed cold one, I guess, right? Oh, one thing to keep a lookout for is the turret that killed them. Yeah, the, the anti-cheat system would have mowed them down with an automated turret, right? So, you look up, then look down. Capiche? Capiche? The family's okay with you doing this? Really? Family schmamly. Look, why work for the family when you can work for yourself? That's how I look at it. Listen, kid, uh, <clears throat> maybe keep this little arrangement between us, okay? Like, no one's gotta know. It's not like it's hurting nobody, except for that one gambler, but I like to close my eyes and pretend they don't exist. Truth be told. Okay, <clears throat> let's make some cash. Yeah, love that enthusiasm. If all goes well, I'll see you again soon. Right, well, here we are. <clears throat> Anti-cheat mainframe. Protecting excellence and business integrity with the latest in technology. We can activate the fraud detection system. All right, find the dead gambler. Instructions. Congratulations on your purchase of a patented Robco Fraud Elimination System. This revolutionary system is the perfect addition to any well-established corporation or burgeoning business. <clears throat> How it works. In order to activate your Robco Fraud Elimination System, simply install it on any central operating system using the provided holotape. Once the program has installed successfully, select the option to activate the system on your interface. The system will recognize if any tampering ensues regarding the devices in your establishment and will log them along with the timestamps of the event. Robco is not responsible for any aftermarket adjustments to the Robco Fraud Elimination System. Refer to the accompanying user manual for more information. System information. <clears throat> Active, yes. Aftermarket adjustments, yes. Detections to date, 4,590. Access logs. <clears throat> Salvatore, access denied, unauthorized, unauthorized, unauthorized. William. Hey, $25 by Anonymous. Thank you so much, Anonymous. Incorrect credentials. Lombardi, administrator access granted. System deactivated. Administrator log Sal, if you continue to tamper with the system, there will be consequences. Detection logs. Okay. Active, initializing, activated. <clears throat> so did we just get somebody killed by by tampering with that? Front, line, uh, front desk note. If munis come sniffing around asking about rumors of their being overgrown in the basement, you tell them nothing, capiche? You call the top lady, and she'll handle them. If a guest asks about overgrown sightings in the casino quarter, you give them the usual spiel, assuring them the Neapolitan is, and always will be, a safe and secure place to spend their hard-earned caps. Give them some drink tokens on the house if you think it'll grease the wheels. Missing funds. Dear Concerta, how are you, darling? I do hope present circumstances haven't eroded the already tenuous sense of calm we've all been fighting to maintain. I wanted to write to you candidly to inquire about the missing funds. The past few months, we've failed to receive the full amount owed to us for our entertainment services. I know you're a woman of integrity and wit. I also know all too well the vast challenge that comes with the burden of leadership. 
I mean no offense when I say that there are rats in your organization that may be sullying our friendship garden. Oh, wow. Mm. Since you're a bosom friend of mine, I will extend your deadline by a fortnight. Please ensure that we receive the rest of our owed expenses. Unfortunately, if I do not receive our dues by the aforementioned date, I will need to send some of my showmen over to collect. Best wishes, Charlotte. P.S. Are you still coming by for tea and coffee on Sunday? I just got my espresso machine working again. Oh, this is, uh, it's a really empty casino. Oh! Oh, no! Cheating gambler! Stolen winnings! Honey Potter Gold Machine, cool. Oh. Uh, oh. Hey. Yay! All right. Well, I got my money back. Sweet. So we can actually gamble. Here we are. This is an improved slot machine. Nice. Okay, I gotta find four more of these and then disable the bugs. Washrooms. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> Are we supposed to find this yet? Or should we be exploring the full casino first? Are we about to delve into a secret? Oh. There's gas over there. Hey. Letter to Billy. William, I'm a bit worried about your reputation in the family. I know what happened with Sal wasn't your fault, but this whole belt thing is getting ridiculous. No one's going to try anything after that. Regardless, don't you think this phobia of getting pantsed is completely irrational when there's so many real dangers out there? Wow, so that's why he wears all the belts. He's afraid of being pantsed. You've become a running joke around here, and frankly, I'm tired of it. You need to step up to the plate and act like a man, not a boy. The family could really use someone with your talents. There's a golden opportunity here to prove yourself, yet you're spending all your time down at the haberdashery picking out new belts. Really, William? If you can't do it for yourself, do it for your old man. Can I loot any of those chips? I can't loot the chips. I'll take the stim pack, though. God knows I need them after that. Uh, there's a broken machine, but apparently that's not one of the ones we need to loot. Billy's personal computer. No, I can't do that in power armor. All right, uh, inbox. <clears throat> uh, Neapolitan mailing list all forward urgent notice. To Neapolitan mailing list from Q Lombardi, subject urgent notice. Notice to all Neapolitan employees. This is a friendly reminder that any unauthorized access of Lombardi family property, including the casino's operating systems, is strictly prohibited. If you witness any unauthorized tampering of family property, report it to your supervisor immediately. We cannot have any would-be charlatans slandering the Lombardi family name. Anyone who disregards this notice and tampers with family property will be terminated. Make of that what you will. Best regards, Quintino Lombardi. Uh, C. Lombardi, need your help. To our belt friend, Billy, I need you to expunge some unforeseen expenses from our outgoing costs. Quintino's still a bit ill, and we've needed to purchase more medical equipment and meds. I'm sure you know as well as I do that this information is on a need-to-know basis, and it would not do anyone any good to worry about him. The estimated cost is about 11,500 caps. Please find a way to account for this. 
I apologize for inconveniencing you in such a way, especially when you're green to the train. Unfortunately, our current circumstances don't allow for us to tread easy water right now. I'll keep you updated. Best regards, Concerta. Unknown user, new idea. Billy, forget this accounting gig. I've got a much more lucrative business proposition for you. We won't even need to leave the casino to do it. You still have the password for the fraud detection system? We're gonna need it. I'll be at Quintino's. You know where to find me, Sal. All right, well, that's the idea we are currently working on. Richard's Haberdashery, thank you for your order. Hello, Billy. Thank you for making a purchase with Richard's Haberdashery. We take pride in crafting the finest men's accessories using locally sourced Brahmin leather. Your order details can be found below. One chestnut brown, brown leather belt, two bronze replacement buckles, one black leather belt, two mahogany leather belt. Order will be placed, or order will be ready for pickup in three to five business days. Please let us know if there's anything we can do to enhance your shopping experience. Personal logs, entry one. Dear diary? It seems weird calling this a diary since this is a computer. Also, how do I address a diary? Is it like a letter? I feel like this may be a bit too complex. I figure trying to put my thoughts into words might help me process everything. That being said, I feel I'm in way over my head with this job. Dad said it'd just be a balance balancing the books. Maybe a few white lies. Nothing too bad. But the expectations Concerta has for me are way more than that. And the worst part is, I can't talk to anyone about it. Not even Sal. Entry two. Hi, diary. Man, this guy's just a sweetheart, isn't he? I'll never be able to show my face at Quintino's again. Or anywhere. I'm just so exhausted of constantly covering for Sal. I do so I do so much for him, and I get literally nothing but embarrassment in return. He pantsed me in front of the entire family. There's no coming back from that. Not for my reputation or our friendship. I gotta make sure this never happens again. <laughs> oh, poor guy. All right, hi, diary. Turns out Pops was totally wrong about the job. It wasn't just some balancing the books or doing some calculations. At least, that's not what Concerta wants for me. She always needs more money, and it can never be on the books. I try not to ask why, but my curiosity has gotten the better of me a few times. She says that it's all for Don Quintino and his illness. Yet she never says what this illness actually is, and he doesn't seem to be getting any better. It's making me start to question things. Does Don Q even know what she's doing? Would he even approve of this? Surely if we keep this up, it's going to hurt. Hey, Von Rack with 169 for St. Jude's. That puts us at 4,666. Thank you so much, Von Rack, for your charity hurt our relations with the munis and the showmen. No one else seems to have any idea that these uh, that things are off, and Concerta was very clear that I can't mention this to anyone. I don't know anymore. This feels like it's all going to blow up sooner or later. Hello, diary. Today I tried to gather up enough courage to ask Concerta about Quintino. She was avoiding the question at first, saying it's none of my business, I'm not important enough to know these things, etc. But eventually, she slipped up. She said, would you question Don Quintino this way? No? Then don't question me. What does that mean? Does she think she's Don? That's not even possible. Surely he wouldn't be okay with this. Something is really wrong here. All right, we're getting some interesting backstory here. Password reminder. Remember, this, it's super important future, Billy. Password is password with a zero. Okay. Thank you, Billy. And it goes further down. Wait, I need my power armor. God knows I need my power armor. I 
guess my question is why do they have to keep books? Right? In this post-apocalyptic universe, who's checking their books? Why do they have to make sure their books are accurate? Oh. Oh, we've got like a nest. There's something in here. I have a feeling we're gonna have to come down here later for another quest. There's more of those machines, but they're not the ones I need. Oh. Oh, this leads back up. Aha, okay, all right. Well, uh, let's uh, explore that other path that we saw really quickly before we retrace our steps to make sure that we've maintained our point of reference. There's another one, but we can't tinker with it. Ooh. Found the heart of the facility. Necessary repairs. Hey, Joey, what kind of hack job are you doing down here? Haven't you heard what the munis have been yammering on about? The overgrown are getting everywhere. Sure, yeah, it's starting in their hood, but apparently the problem's only getting worse. The basement's not secure. I won't tell Q, but step it up down here, yeah? Otherwise, you and I are gonna be plant food. Frank. Well, we saw an overgrown nest. I'm not hearing any music. I wonder if I forgot to turn the music on. Let me go to settings really quick. Audio. And, uh, yeah. Music is all the way down. Put it at that. Is that a vault? Vault access terminal, remote door control. Open door, wow. Okay. That is one secure vault. Are we on the wrong side of it? Whoa. Oh, wow. Another nest. Ah, oh, it's only pre-war money. God. Advanced payment. Attached is the advance uh, advancement for your cut of the job. You'll receive the rest after the hull has been lifted and flipped. At 9 p.m. exactly on the night of the job, kill the power. We'll need about eight minutes to clear the vault and lift the crate. You do whatever you need to keep the power off during that time if you want your full cut. Burn after reading AM. Power consumption report. Uh, power production and management division, Neapolitan monthly power consumption report. Frida, the Neapolitan continues to comply with power rationing standards set forth by the power production and management division of the Atlantic City Municipal Government. I have also personally approved the power savings plans proposed by the management at the Neapolitan for the next six months. It should accommodate a 4% drop in service, meeting our projected generator downtime. To address your concerns about the reported 8% overdraw, this can be attributed to an instrument failure. Finding a pristine replacement these days is difficult. Rest assured, I correct for this error in my weekly reports. 
Dean Carlson, PPMD supervisor for the Neapolitan. There was fraud and intrigue even before the bombs dropped. Right, I think I'm delving too deeply. I, uh, I need to go back so I can work on the quest. Oh, wow. That's a lot of smoke. What did I just open? Oh. I just closed. I closed the security gate. Or did I open this? Municipal Auditor Corpse. Dark Void. Oh, I see. We come out here. Right. Let's focus on the quest because I feel like I sort of just uh, stumbled upon a bunch of stuff that I wasn't supposed to see just yet. John de GM Berardino, four hundred and nineteen dollars and sixty-eight cents donated to St. Jude's Hospital. John de GM Berardino, oh my God, thank you for coming in clutch there, my friend. That puts you among the top five donors, and that pushes us into five thousand eighty-five dollars and sixty-eight cents. We are doing great, making great progress. Let's see, how far are we into the broadcast? We're almost two hours in. We are five minutes away from being halfway through with my charity streams for this year. I've got one more day of charity after today, and I've got two more hours left in today's broadcast. So if we want to hit our goal of $14,000 for St. Jude, let's ki let's keep uh, kick it up a bit, everybody. But thank you, everyone who has donated so far. Extremely, extremely generous, each and every one of you. Oh. Uh, you a good guy? No, you don't look like a good guy. Ah, let's make this into <laughs> Why? Why? Did I feel? Can't be over yet. Why did I just get randomly attacked by two showmen? What did I do? I love their outfits, though. Okay, well, they wanted to be dead for some reason. Alright, here we go. Hey, Tam donated 25. Thank you so much, Tam. 
Okay, this is the objective area, so we have to... Wait a minute. Yeah, so this is for the primary portion of the quest. Let's continue work on the optional portion. Okay, one more to go. Whoa, what is that? That is cool. What a world's biggest slot machine. A hundred caps. Let's do it. Yes, yes. No! No! Uh, all right, maybe. Yeah. Hey, what'd I get? I got 75 caps. Let's try that again. That's a cool looking slot machine. Look at this sucker. That is awesome. Go! Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe? Nah. Come on. Yeah? Is that good? I got 75. I don't know what's good or bad. I want to get all the same in, the, in a row, right? Four of a kind. That's good, right? If it's like cards. Hey! What I get, what I get, what I get, what I get? 250. Hey, I'm net positive. I'm making money. I'm on a winning streak. I can't stop now. Was that good? Was that a good one or a bad one? I got 75, so it wasn't good. All right, well, I lost my winning streak. But I gotta keep going. Gotta keep going. Heart. Oh, no. Eh, I got two of a kind there. Give me, give me a big payout. I want like a legendary piece of power armor. Yes, yes, no, no. Ah, oh, what's the question mark? I wanna know what the question mark is. One more time. Yeah? Oh, oh, oh. This is, no, it's a hodgepodge. Nothing. What'd I get? 50. Oh, that's even worse. Well, it, it gives me the illusion that I'm winning when I'm not. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, I see. Disable the bugs in the kitchen. Signal strength. See, this is what my build was for. Hallways and long distance sniping and, you know, no more than four guys. Ah, oh, here we go. Disable the bug. That's a bug. Listening bug. Okay, one down. Two more to go. Uh -huh. 
getting farther now. Oh, there it is. All right, one more to go. Got it. Okay, so we've done the kitchen. Now we need to do the casino floor. All right, here we are on the casino floor. Let's look for bugs. Okay, signal strength getting weaker, stronger, 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 weaker, stronger, 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 stronger. There it is. I see it. I'm enjoying this background music. Ooh, roulette. Yeah, we can play all the games. Oh, I'm so glad they did this. All right. I'm putting uh, everything on. Uh, let's see. First. Um twenty two. Ah, oh. all right, let me try again. Black says chat. All right, black. Black on, I won. What I get, what I get, what I get, what I get, what I get. A hundred caps. All right, I'll stop there. Uh oh. I'm getting closer. Oh, I'm getting farther away now. All right. I love how there's blood on some of these machines. What? It must be above me. Because it's right over there. Or maybe below me. Nope, that's laundry. Maybe it's on the other side of this wall. There it is. Hey, Retro Wave! $25 for St. Jude's. Thank you, Retro Wave. All right, that's the second one on the casino floor. Ooh, I love this centerpiece in the middle. Disable the bugs in the hotel wing. Can do. Can I get a brew? Okay, hotel wing. That's gonna be upstairs, I think. What's this? What is this? 
Horse racing? Vault tech themed horse racing? Atlantic City Mechanical Derby game. Oh yeah, here we go. I, I'm all about the horses. We're gonna go lane four, purple. Place bet. Continue. Come on, purple. Come on, purple. Lane four, go. No, no, fast. Yes, no, no, no. Catch up, catch up. Oh, yellow. Come on, purple. Gonna go again. Lane four, purple. Let's do it. Come on, purple. No, 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 no. Faster, faster. Almost, no, no, what? It's yellow again? What? Well, fine. <laughs> we'll do yellow this time. Come on, yellow. Come on, yellow. No, 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 no. Not red. But blue! Blue! I got a good feeling about purple. Let's do purple again. It better not be yellow. Come on. Well, purple, what are you doing? Wait, no, it's blue again. Forget this. It's wrecked. It's game is rigged from the start. Cleansed in fire says, uh, try your best not to punch the horses if they displease you. I will try my best, thank you. Deuteronomus with a donation to St. Jude's. Thank you, Deuteronomus. All right, is this gonna lead to the hotel? This place is looking a bit rougher. Can I play blackjack? I wanna play blackjack. Okay, well that didn't lead to the hotel. So, let's see if we can find a door to the hotel. Ah, okay. Here's her door. Thank you for your order to W. Bertucci from Richard's Haberdashery. Hello, Billy. Thank you for making a purchase with Richard's Haberdashery. We take pride in crafting the finest men's accessories. Thank you, Jersey, for the contribution to today's charity stream. We take pride in crafting the finest men's accessories using locally sourced Brahma leather. Wait, is this the same one? Your order details can be found below. One chestnut brown leather belt, two bronze replacement buckles, one black leather belt, two mahogany leather belts. Order will be ready in five to three days. Please let me know if there's anything else you need. All right, so it's similar. Dude is just, uh, dude is just buying up all the belts. Uh, no, 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 no. Ah! Gets hit in the head with an electromagnetic slug. It barely phases her. Hmm. It's not like I was lonely or anything. This is weird. My ears are burnt. You think you could run away from There's number one. Ooh, are we close to the next one too? 
We are. Ah. Two in this one room. Wow. Huh. I wonder who was in this room. Ooh. Unaccounted blood. Like I said, this stays between you and me, Murph. I'm not saying anything out loud in case the joint's bugged, so be sure to burn this letter. I played cards with some of the guys who deliver the daily earnings into the vault. There's a ton of caps, sure, but one guy gave me a tip. Swears he saw a whole crate of devil's blood that remains unaccounted for in any of the logs. Some kind of clerical oversight. Think about it, Murph. An entire crate of the stuff just left behind. A crimson treasure, ripe for the taking. Even if someone got the blood, not many folks are willing to fence the stuff. The family's got an iron grip on the devil's blood brewing and distribution in Atlantic City. If anyone outside the family tries to sell it, they're singing their own death warrant. But there's a lot of caps in it if, for someone who can. That's where you come in, Murph. I'm familiar with your work back in Nevada, when there were casinos worth robbing. Can't think of anyone better to break in and lift the stash. If you manage to get that crate out, I'll show you my magic trick where I turn blood into caps. Right, so we've got a schematic of uh, the vault downstairs, it looks like. And this is their dastardly plan. Oh, we can read it. Okay, let's start here. Dean Carlson. Dean Carlson, Muni crony that manages the Neapolitan's power consumption in-house. Apparently, Belt Buckles pays him off to let us use all the juice we need. I wonder what else he could be paid to do. A distraction. We need to distract the security team. Killing power should cause the most chaos in the, on the casino floor. Concerto Lombardi. Sister to the big man Don Quintino Lombardi, Concerta holds a key to the vault on her, often around her neck. I assume the Don put the responsibility of the vault security onto her. Will require someone with charisma to get close enough to lift it. Kit Ryder. Mediocre lounge singer, and as much as he tries to hide it, a skilled thief. After every show, he heads over to the bar in the High Roller Lounge and starts flirting with all the old money there. He'd seduce a bar stool if it had a rich family. Every night, he's ending up in someone else's room, and the next morning, he's off pawning their valuables. Sounds like the kind of guy I need. Update, Writer's in. And finally, Blood Case. Rumor claims there's about 12 liters of devil's blood left unaccounted for in the vault, hiding in plain sight. Tens of thousands of caps worth of devil's blood for the taking. All right, well, we were there, and we didn't see any devil's blood, but we'll have to go check it out again. Yeah. Mayday! Mayday! Drop whatever you're doing and get the Quintinos ASAP! I need... I can hear you breathing. That means you and I haven't met yet. The family thought they could set up this string bean to take the fall in my audit. It's far from a fair fight. I'd like to pick on someone more my size, like you. Tell you what, if you can beat me, I'll leave. Unlike these suit-wearing numbskulls, I'm not a thug. You have my word. Oh, great, so I just gotta beat Buttercup. Writer Journal Page. Chapter 12, Neapolitan Nitwit. While documenting the incredible journey of my life, it's important for me to document both my triumphs and my failures. And boy howdy is this one a triumphant failure. 
I should have known there was no way I was going to pull a stunt like that on Quintino's sister without consequences. Things were going so well, too. I gave her the old rider charm after my show. The plan was to give her my patented shoulder rub, and that'd be my chance to lift the key. Is that what he's calling it, a shoulder rub? I blew it, though. She saw right through my bullcrap and caught me making a grab for the vault key. Last thing I see is the butt of a gun clocking me in the skull. They kept me in a dark room and beat the names out of me. Soon as they started hitting the moneymaker, I cracked real quick. I have no regrets. That Mafizio and that sorry Muni fella would have done the same. Frankly, I'm just grateful those thugs didn't break anything too important. I can get on by crutches for a long while. I've been blacklisted from the casino quarter, so I'm heading back to Showman's Pier. Maybe they'll take pity on me and let me sing the opening to that game they're always running. After writing it all out, maybe this one shouldn't make it to the autobiography. All right, a post-apocalyptic uh, casino singer making an autobiography for some reason. Sure, people would love to read that. An offer. I know your scam, Ryder. Lucky for you, the family has no interest in busting your grift. However, I have a job with a big payout that could use your skills. If the opportunity sounds enticing, consider meeting me in room 101 at the Neapolitan. Burn after reading AM. Room 101, that's the first one we explored, right? That's 104. Can we explore 102? And that's 101, yeah, all right. It's Concerta's room. Ugh. Concerta's personal terminal. Please select an option from the list below. Inbox. Forward Napolitan mailing list all from uh, the mailing list. No, from Lombardi Q. Uh, okay, we've read that one already. Uh, Fabio replacing Billy. From F. Mondar Mondadorio, Mondadori to C. Lombardi. Concerta, I've been meaning to speak to Q about this, but I'm sure you know as well as I do how private he's been lately. I figured you'd be the best person to deliver the message to him. I have my concerns about Billy being the new accountant. Well-founded concerns. This feels purely like nepotism on behalf of his pop, don't you think? Either that or some much more cunning, someone much more cunning than him just needs him in that position as easily molded clay. Wonder who that would be. My point here is tell quote unquote Quintino to think carefully about what he is doing. Billy is incompetent. Not only will we be the laughing stock of the city, but his mistakes will drive a rift between the family, the munis and the showmen. We can't afford a rift. I can do my best to smooth things over diplomatically with the others, you know me, but there's only so much I can do here. Think carefully. Is what you're doing really what's best for the family? Sincerely, Fabio. To C. Lombardi from Charlotte, subject missing funds. Dear Concerta, how are you, darling? 
I do hope present circumstances haven't eroded the already, already tenuous sense of calm we've all been fighting to maintain. I wanted to write you to candidly uh, inquire about the missing funds. This is the handwritten note that we read earlier. Yeah, we saw that typed out earlier. From Jean to C. Lombardi regarding supplies. I'll have the latest batch ready by the end of the week. You've got to give me more time. The demand for blood just continues to skyrocket, and it doesn't help that I have to juggle our little side venture along with this. I've told you a hundred times that he won't be able to get over this without a strong antidote. The meds you've been asking for are just delaying the inevitable. You need to trust me more. Blame Antonio all you want, but there's no use focusing on the past when we've got our hands full with the present. Gene. Original message. Gene, I appreciate you sending the chems over in such a timely manner, but we need more. Quickly. Name your price. I'll find a way. The situation is deteriorating rapidly. No one, and I mean no one, can know. Please use the utmost discretion with this. Furthermore, we need another shipment of devil's blood as soon as possible. The demand is higher than ever, and with Antonio gone, it's becoming harder and harder to distribute it. Best regards, Concerta. So, Concerta, the Don's sister, is pretty much running the show for him, either because he doesn't really exist, he died a long time ago, or he's deathly ill. Perhaps that's why they need so many chems. Showman approved acts. Joey Bellows, comedian, blacklisted. Kit Ryder, lounge singer, blacklisted because he tried to uh, rob the vault key. Poppy Seedle, the extraordinary human bagel. Wow. The Three Mustard Eaters. The Crab Orchestra featuring Captain Judy's whalebone xylophone. Is it blood or ketchup? Comedy extraordinaire. Peacock Pam's yodeling hour. They ate how many pancakes? Game show. Wow, entertainment here is just top notch. Oop. Oh. Letter to Charlotte. Charlotte, paranoia has been eating away at me lately. Quentino's condition has, let's just say, it's worsened. It goes without saying that I'm eternally grateful for your discretion regarding this. Most here are unaware of anything being ar awry. But some of the Acapos have started to suspect me, namely Fabio. He used to be happy just wagging his tongue at anyone who would listen, but since Antonio's departure, he's changed. I believe he never thought it possible for him to be godfather, but now sees a weak point to exploit. Charlotte, I know he's your friend, but here is where I must implore you for a favor. Do not tell Fabio anything. He will ask you. He will pry. But you know as well as I do that he's a fool that just discovered what ambition is. The family will crumble if he takes over. Please take what I said into consideration. You're one of the wisest people I know. Best regards, Concerta. All right, so if this is Concerta's uh, room, that means she wrote this letter and has not yet given it to Charlotte. So, the dawn is sick. And people are... Hey! Anonymous, with a $50 donation. Thank you very much, Anonymous. Thank you so much for supporting St. Jude's. Right, well, we've discovered all the lore. Plenty of intrigue. Let's go see if we can defeat this one guy. <laughs> A 
Okay, why does the quest log want me to go in here? I don't want to get trapped in this room. Oh, it's a trap door. Oh, I see. Quentino's nightclub. This is quite an entrance to Quentino's nightclub. What? The hatch we opened was on the floor, which means we should have gone down through the roof of this building, but this is on the floor too. Shouldn't this be up there? I'm confused. It's a tunnel, says Lord Omnissa. Oh, yeah, maybe it was a vent or something. Okay. Ah. Oh, dear God. Oh, it wasn't in my power armor, of course, because I took it off. I'll make a out of your eyes, though. I took it off to check the freaking terminal. like a maple tree in Canada. Ugh. <sighs> 
Why are they all attacking belt buckle guy? I'll be collecting the estate tax from your will. Wow. Well, that's Sal. Whoops. Well, he's almost at half-life. Random fandom says use the machine gun. I mean... I think that's helping. How am I supposed to up that? I don't I, <laughs> that didn't do much. And I'm wasting all my ammo. Black powder it.
<laughs> it did nothing. <laughs> it did nothing. Ah. I think we're what? One third? He's not doing much damage to me. I gotta do this again? Okay, so we're just gonna leave him here. He threatens to come after us and kill us again and we can't finish the job? No? Hi, right, Buttercup. Just run away. I guess I'll see you again. Where's that kid, Billy? Yeah, I'll just wait till I see someone with ten belts on him. Okay, give the winnings from the slot machines to Sal. Return to Sal with the unlucky gambler's winnings. And free Billy. All right, Sal, come here. Ah, look what the wind dragged in. You got a good reason to bother a fella with a drink? Why is there tension between you and Billy? Kid's too damn sensitive, that's why. All right, well, we maybe had a little altercation some time ago. <laughs> He's so wound up, I, I thought it'd be funny just to do a little prank and to... Pants him. Problem is, I just ate some honey. Scavone's around here. Keeps saying my hands are always sticky. It ain't sweat. It was honey. All right. Ew. So I goes to grab Billy's pants to pull him down, but my fingers got stuck to him. So when I yanked down, I ripped the kid's pants clear off. He was running around the club like a chicken with his head cut off, screaming about how he didn't want anyone seeing his underpants. <laughs> I mean, oh man. It was pretty funny. Since oh, Sal. then, I guess it messed him up good, because he wears like 50 belts on his pants every day. And that's why the boys call him Billy Belt Buckles now. Funny story, Sal. Let's see. Uh, you seem pretty irritated. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you, Captain Obvious. What, do I not smile enough for you? If you want some clowns to make you laugh, stop by the boardwalk. How about that, huh? Why the attitude? Maybe I was a bit harsh. My apologies. It's just my talents go unappreciated around here. And it leaves me a bit sour at times, you know? Well, I took care of the cheaters. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! I bet those fools got what was coming to them. Now I'll be taking that. Thanks for the help, kid. I mean, the cheater was was the only person in the entire casino. This is supposed to be a casino where people are going to spend lots of money or something, even 25 years after the apocalypse, where there was no one here. No one except these bad guys. I got the caps from the slot machines for you. 
Well, well, well. If it isn't my favorite grifter. Good kid, good. This will be sure to get the other mobsters to mob me with praise. Huh? <laughs> uh... Oh, you're still here. I'll make sure to tell old Billy to sweeten the reward for you. Ah, uh, you can thank your old Uncle Sal for that. Well, why couldn't we just keep all of the money that we got from the, uh, the broken machines? Um, I have some questions about the family. Shoot. Who's in charge around here? Me! Ain't it obvious? Officially, it's Don Quintino. He's the godfather, and has been since, well, since I was a tyke. Nice guy, so long as you don't piss him off. <laughs> don't tell him I said that, though. <laughs> you wouldn't want to go disrespecting his little sister, Concerta. That woman thinks she runs the place. Ha! <laughs> Does the Mafia own this place? Don Quintino bought it up before the bombs. Prime real estate it was. He fixed it up into something like a headquarters for us. A place for the family to lay low without the damn munis up our asses wanting their taxes. What exactly does the family do? What do you think we do? We make caps, run the casinos, keep the chems and booze flowing, and find ways for the lovely people of Atlantic City to, uh, indulge in their vices. On top of all that, we help the showboys keep the streets safe. Only thing we don't do is sing show tunes and keep the lights on. That's for the munis and showboys to figure out. You have nothing else to say anyway. Let's talk about you. That's about time someone does. What exactly do you do here? Me? I run this joint. Well, not technically, but metaphorically? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm an expert in generating caps through, uh, clever means. I I'm like a multiplication table. You give me ten caps, I quadruple it into fifty. Why do they call you Sticky Fingers? Those loose lip gavones would have you believe I've got sweaty palms. I don't, you hear? My doctor said I don't sweat no more than any other fella. My fingers ain't sticky, but these rumors tend to stick even when they ain't true. You know that. We can pass a perception check of three plus to see, uh, to say it seems like there's quite a few fingerprints on your glass. Uh, should he be holding a glass right now? Did you get out your binoculars to see that? Those were there when I got the glass. Capiche? Okay, I guess uh, we were supposed to go through that dialogue back at the beginning when we saw him standing there holding a glass. Not now. Are you a made man? Sure I am. <laughs> what else would I be? A rad roach? My pop was in with the family. Now I am too. Except you got a lot more respect around here than I ever do. Saves me some breath, I guess. I wanted to talk about the other groups in Atlantic City. Ah, so it's a boring question. What can you tell me about the showmen? Don't like them show boys and girls, I'll tell you. They're weird as weird gets. Sure, they got the whole circus clown act going, putting on shows and shit. Deep down, they're vicious. Wilier than a pack of starved, rabies-infected hyenas. Of course, they're not that I could handle. Not that I've ever tested that hypothesis. Tell me about the civilian government. The munis? Bunch of sticks in the mud. They think they're all saints because they keep the utilities and emergency services and whatnot running. Tell you what, though. Real reason people come to Atlantic City ain't for the damn crops. It's for the casinos. Do you say so, kid? If there's nothing else. See you, Sal. Yeah, I'm sure you will. All right, so the guys uh, dressed up like cowboys and the cowboy hats and the lo long leather jackets, they're part of this Muni's gang which are supposed to be what? The remnants of the municipal government here in Atlantic City, and they run things like water and all of that, but they collect I taxes. I need to turn some muscle. 
Great. So they Fun. attacked me because I was helping these guys avoid paying taxes. There were hundreds of them, just so many of these guys. All right, Billy, belt buckles. I've been told I have a lot of phobic tendencies. Whatever that means. You did it! <laughs> I can't believe it! I mean, I believed it then, and now, but not in the entirety I do now. I mean, that'll teach them not to mess with us, huh? This isn't the last time we'll need to contend with them. I'll have to call on you again in the future. Do you think you can handle that? We're gonna do this again? What will you do now? Oh, I'm gonna celebrate for sure. I was gonna go to the bar and pretend to fit in. There's no one at the bar. This is literally a completely empty casino. I can't believe I just did all that to get you out of doing your job. Well, actually, I, I contributed, sort of. I did, well, no, that, that was you. Well, I, okay, no, that was also you. But I was physically alive during it, and in the relative nature of space and time, I was technically right next to you the whole time. There you go. So yes, I contributed. Snoopson says, I only see one belt. No, 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 he's got three belts around his waist, and then he's got two belts over his shoulders, acting as suspenders. So that's five belts. This new feeling is starting to take hold. I think it's called hope. Oh, not trying to flatter you or nothing. Till next time, friend. I'll be waiting here. Okay, friend. What next? Speak to Lennox to depart? Oh, that's it. That's it. Well, what about the, the vault in the basement? And the whole side story about the demon blood and all I of that. I say I feel a bit. Hey, end of dungeon steamer trunk. Tim's letter. How you holding up, Q? I know the family only works in favors, but I'm not writing to ask you for anything. I wanted to see how you're doing with the illness, and all getting old is a heavy burden, believe you me. None of the inspirational quotes Frida throws at me have changed my mind on that. Been trying to reach you for a while now, actually. Never got a reply. You know, I'm beginning to wonder if there's someone else reading these letters, and they probably won't like it if I call their bluff. I hope you're getting better, Q. I really do. Sincerely, Tim. Did, did he, did Q die? And is his sister, uh, filling in for him, so to speak? Is this Q's apartment? Hey, we got Toxic Sean with a donation. All right. Uh, joining in with the charity stream. Thank you so much. Hey, there's PS Move. Thank you so much, PS Move, for contributing. There's another mission, I think, says Prakatus. Okay. So another mission that sends us here. Uh, probably it's going to talk more about... Uh, Quintino and the Demon's Blood. Because there were a lot of little things that we read about and learned about that really weren't addressed in this quest. And I'm assuming they'll probably tackle all of that stuff in these subsequent quests. Do the slots! Come on, give me three bombs! Oh, one more, one! Yeah! Jackpot! Woo! Fifteen. Oh, man. Can I play casino pool? 
Oh, I need a pool cue. You can't do that in power armor. Oh, I can play pool. Yeah, I gotta play pool. See. Oh, look at that. Is this new or, or has this been like a camp item for some time? Because I've never seen this before. Is this going to go through all of them? All right. <laughs> look. look at that. Ox. Wow, he's way better at pool than I am. It's like somebody animated this whole thing. Wow. Hey. Well done. You feel charismatic. Charisma increased by two. was pretty esteemed around here, let me tell you. Shame respect's only hereditary when you... Okay, back to the casino quarter. Yeah, I have a feeling they they must have other quests that make better use of this huge sprawling landscape. I'm down. Wow, those those uh, devils hit. For, they hit really hard. Toxic Sean says Merry Christmas, Oxhorn, and everyone in chat. Huge hugs for everyone. Stay cozy. Cheers for the amazing community. Thank you very much, Toxic Sean, and cheers to the amazing community indeed. Okay, they're not too bad. It's the devils that are nasty. No death animation, but it's dead. <laughs> so essentially, reskinned floaters and reskinned ghouls there. Okay, back we go. I won't let them get their mitts on you, girl. Don't you worry. I have a feeling there was some dialogue we were supposed to have earlier before I sort of zapped here. You ready to get airborne? 
It's been a hell of a day, Lennox. And you can tell me all about it when we get back. Take me home. Hop in and I'll fire her up. <sighs> okay, expedition complete tax evasion. Evasion. Looted cells, improved slot machines, check. Reaped the bloody rewards of the anti-cheat detection system, check. Successfully cooked the books before the audit could take place. I mean, who could have done that unless you were there with like a team of guys? I got a bolstering urban scout armor chest piece, a regenerating raider chest piece, some stamps, a legendary module, a machine gun, zealots, T-51B torso, nice. A hunting rifle, a stim pack, and cartridges. All right, back at White Springs. No, back at camp. Vertibird dropped us off back at camp, I guess. All right, there we go. Error. Report. This unit attempted to decorate local fauna with a Rudolph nose failure. Okay, so there we go. That's uh, one of the first quests in Fallout 76 Atlantic City update. Um, I'm not ending the broadcast. I've got another hour here, but <clears throat> let's see. My thoughts. <laughs> um, I really enjoyed all of the machines. I enjoyed the fact that we were able to go into the casinos and use almost all of the machines and play all of the games. That was a lot of fun. Uh, the, there were glitches, of course, which, uh, impeded my ability to progress, and I don't feel like it was balanced very well. Certainly not for a single solo player of my level and of my build. It's quite possible that I just need to adapt and I need to change my build and spec into something else, use different guns, so on and so forth. Um... But I, I just I fear that if, if their solution to creating a challenging enemy encounter <clears throat> is just to spawn a hundred guys with high-level weapons or give a boss a million hit points, that's less interesting to me. I would love, uh, I would love enemy encounters that were um, a bit more creative than simply pumping the boss with hit points and giving giving you a thousand guys to kill. Once we actually got into the casino and we got to read all of the, the notes and articles and we got to explore the casino, it became, it became fun. I, I started to enjoy myself. Now, um, as this is a charity stream, we have been playing a number of games, a variety of games. And so let's choose something new. Uh, see, yesterday we played Death's Door, Dredge, and Antichamber, and Valheim, uh, which were all a lot of fun. Uh, today we played uh, Fallout 76. I think we'll try to do more uh, Atlantic City tomorrow, but then I, I also purchased a new game that I've never played before that I kind of want to test out. Let's uh, try this out. This was another recommendation from chat. Power Wash Simulator. Yeah. Oh, man. This is quite a privacy policy. We got to go through. Really? Jeez. All right. Fine. Um, back to the Future. Oh, no. That's a DLC, I think. Uh, career. Uh, this is... Okay, I'm guessing this is the campaign. Uh, challenge mode, wash. 
Start career. Juggle weird and let's do this. 150 bucks. Clean the van. Oh yeah, let's start the job. Here we go, everybody. Rotate nozzle, equip, pick up, place, aim mode. What is aim mode? Oh yeah, this this is this is the game. Let's clean this. Oh, I'm gonna love this. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta turn the I gotta turn the uh, settings. It's a, it's a little loud. I think we we got a donation there. Thank you so much for the donation. Oh, power wash. Power wash that. Ah, we got the headlights. Nice. Current loadout, a power washer extension and nozzle. Can we rotate this? Uh, let's get that windshield. I could do this all day. Ah, oh, we got the hood, nice. Two, switch nozzle. Oh. 15 degree nozzle, 25 and 40. Not Nick Skinner. Thank you, Not Nick Skinner. Left control change stance. This is a dirty car. All right, so if you choose a, a, a lower angle, it's going to have more power. Okay, one half done. Did we get the grill? A little bit of dirt there still. Got that tire. Got the door. Did we get that? Whoa, Joe Klein with a $500 donation to St. Jude's. Oh my God, Joe Klein, thank you so much for your generosity. That pushes us to $5,800. Amazing. I am astounded by that level of generosity. You, sir, deserve an applause. That puts you on the top five there. That puts you at the top, just above Anastasia. Well done, Joe Klein, and thank you very much. Oh, that made my day. Now let's clean this van. What am I missing? The side looks pretty good to me. Did I not get it? Oh, I 
Steve. Thank you for that. There's the tire. Got to get in the cracks. Wow. This game is uh, very detailed. Okay, so I can buy new pieces. Hmm. Oh. No, this is the status of each piece. I gotta do the bumpers, the doors, the grill. Alright, so it's 59% clean. Let's get this bumper. Harper Shaw says, there's a removals van outside my nightmare neighbor's place. They're finally going. Whoever moves in there is going to need a quality pressure washer. Okay. Yay. Yeah. Looking good. Oh, wow. It's like night and day. Look how beautiful this is. All right, let's do it. There we go. Did I get this one? I did. Hunter says, nice job cleaning that vault tech van. It does look like a vault tech van, doesn't it? Oh, that's so satisfying. Harper Shaw says, you gonna go with that business name or do you need me to think of something up? I'm phenomenal. I thought up Grouting Thomas for that Tyler and she's never looked back. Grouting Thomas, a reference to the Bible, Doubting Thomas, but Grouting Thomas. On reflection, Bonnie Tyler might have been a better fit. Bonnie Tyler. <laughs> All right. Making progress. Well, I need to get up there.
it's this edge. Yeah! Customer won't mind me walking on the roof, right? Oh, that's a beautiful sight to behold. Looking good. Bumper. Oh. Job completed. Calvin Miller says, is this the extraordinary Dr. Power Wash? I got your details from your friend Harper. I could really do with a hand at my place when you're free. All right, press escape, job complete. Open the tablet to continue. And instant replay, look at that. <laughs> like a pro. I love how we get an instant replay. Okay, earnings 150 bucks. Continue. Clean the back garden. 450 bucks. We can start the job. Oh, wow, it's so dirty. Calvin Miller says, funnily enough, my first girlfriend, Florraine Perez, used to live here back in the day. Those were good times. Well, thank you for that one. Let's see. How do I get the, the different nozzle? Um, shoot, I forgot. See, I wanna. There we go. Let's try the forty degree. It just it doesn't do as good. It takes way more um, passes. Let's go back to fifteen degree. Okay. Oh, wow. This is a lot to clean. <laughs> Look at all of this. Oh, God. All right. Let's get this fence done.
Wow, this is a lot like uh, Viscera Clean Up Detail. People do this for a living, and here we are. We paid money to, to buy a game so we could do it. Yeah. All right. Of course, they got games for every job these days, don't they? I think last year we played Gas Station Simulator. I wasn't that into it. I, di I didn't play it very long. But I am going to dominate this fence. Yeah! Booyah! Oh, wow, this... Brickwork is just awful. You can switch nozzles using the mouse wheel, says the new guy. Oh, oh look at that. That's the most powerful. How am I doing? Oh man. So many spots. Yeah, I got that. Whoo. I want to go out and power wash my driveway now. Of course, one thing they don't bear in mind is the price of water. Like, I live in an area where I'm not hooked up to, to the sewer system. I got to get my water pumped in from a nearby lake, and that's expensive. There's no way that I'd be able to use uh, use a, p a pressure washer like this at my place because it's just 
such a waste of water. I mean, it's not a waste, but it uses so much water. What am I missing? It's this crack. Oh wait, no, it's a huge place. Oh dear God, this is a big job. Big job. I feel like I can't stop, you know, I gotta keep doing it. I don't wanna give up. I'm not a quitter. I can promise you no one else doing charity live streams right now is playing this game. There you go. I feel like I need some music. Like something chill and jazzy. In real life, I'd be scattering all these tiny little pebbles all over the place. I'd be, and I'd be making an even greater mess. The power of the water would have shot all these little pebbles under the grass, and then I'd have to go in with tweezers and pick them all out one by one. Okay, all right, making progress. Look at this. Oh, what's, okay, we got a pool here, a dog house. Oh, is the dog still in there? Look at his dog bowl. Oh, the dog bowl is dirty. That is not sanitary.
Really, I should be doing this from the top down so that the dirty water drips down. Looking good. Well, I think we can save the rest of this for later. Let's save our game there. And uh, before we end the broadcast on <laughs> Power Washing Simulator, let's go back to a different game. Actually, let's see. There is one thing I wanted to show. I wanted to show off, and maybe we can use our last 30 minutes for that. So yesterday... Yesterday, I showed off one of the games <clears throat> that I play in my free time when I'm between videos or when I have a weekend free. And that was Valheim, which is a survival uh, building game, and I showed off all of the little towns that I made. Well, another one that I play is Satisfactory, which is a factory building game. And I've spent a considerable uh, amount of time working on my factory. I started playing this game because my son wanted to play it. And it was really complicated and he kept on asking me questions and I didn't have the answer. So I created my own world and started making my own factory just so that I could understand the game so I could explain it to my son. And I ended up really loving it and making a huge factory. And I want to show you something cool. Signata says the doghouse roof was at 96%. That's going to bug me till next time. That's true, it was. All right. So, um, there's my train. And this is my old factory. Now, Satisfactory had a recent update where they changed a lot of the uh, landscape and all of that. And I haven't um, played it since then, so I don't know if my factory's gonna be fine. But this is my old factory. This is the first factory I built when I really decided to try and make everything look nice. And then I moved factories, and then I tore this one down and converted it into mainly a storage room. Uh, so the way I have it set right now is uh, all of the factory, all of the uh, components in the basement convert raw re uh, resources and create minimal materials that I need to produce just enough to keep my nuclear power plant running. But of course, that's not enough to complete all of the challenges in the game. And so I built another factory that allows me to produce every single item in the game so I could complete all of its other challenges. Anyway, I have all of the components fed into one conveyor belt that then goes through all of these assemblers and uses them, and then any excess is fed into my drones over here. So they get stored in all of these containers. I've got each one nearly full. And then everything that isn't stored gets fed into this conveyor belt. And then fed under here. Towards my drone port. So these are my drones, these go to my oil refinery, these go to my second, uh, and these take uh, excess resources to my second factory. There's some of the first resources that I, I got way over there. That's my coal. Here, let me show you my coal.
because I have a coal power plant down here. And so I've got uh, three coal refineries over there that send the coal along these conveyor belts. And I have them split into um, a variety of different pathways to power all of my coal generators over there. And then I have another little factory in there. I think this is for crafting uh, fertilizer, compost or something. And then there's the space elevator, which I use to complete most of the challenges in the game. But let me take you to my oil factory. Oh, they also changed cars in the game. So now they're too big. My little buggy here is now too big for the doorway that I built for it because they changed cars. There we go. So there's the train, the train tracks. I'll show you where those end in a minute. And those are some of my automated trucks. Those deliver resources to and from my various outposts. That I believe is going to my Caterium. I believe that's um, Caterium, my Caterium factory. It's been a while, it's been about a month or so since I've played. Anyway, here's my my oil. Oil and gasoline. Oh, this is new. Oh, wow. Yeah, they changed the landscape a lot, so my factory might, might uh, look a little different. Anyway, this is the petroleum complex. I have petroleum refined down here, but it gets pumped out of here. These are the big petroleum wells that I've found. And it's quite a complex. Hold on a second, it's saving. Each of these yellow buildings are gas generators. So I've got uh, one or two of these pumps that are dedicated just to pumping gasoline into the gas generators. And then in each of one of these uh, Huts, I've got four gas generators producing electricity. And I created this little um, tower in the middle of it, upon which I put a fluid buffer. So all the gasoline is pumped into the fluid buffer, and then from there, it's diverted into each one, so that each one gets an even supply of gasoline, so one doesn't get more than the others. And then I created that same structure a couple of different times. There's one over there, there's one right there, there's one right there. Gasoline pumps right there. And then over here I have some rubber and plastic pr uh, production lines, as well as turbo fuel. There we go. These are recycling my excess um, waste from all of my different refineries and then producing plastic and rubber. All right, but that's the petroleum complex. Next, let's take you to aluminum. Oh wow, they really changed this land a lot. It's messing up some of the roads I built. What? Oh man, I don't remember that at all. Oh shoot. <laughs> oh no, they ruined my road. How am I gonna get over there now? They ruined my road. 
Oh, wow. I'm going to have to go another way. None of this was there before. It used to be that I could go up there and there was a road that would lead uh, straight to my aluminum factory, but now there's all this. Okay, well, we're gonna have to find another path. Because that's blocked. Oh, what does that mean for my cars? Because I had a bunch of cars going that way too. Oh wait, did I just take a wrong turn? I think I did, this is the path of my cars. Okay, I think I just took a wrong turn. Yay! Alright, so it's been a while since I've played, so... There we go. This is the pathway of my automated vehicles. This is another coal plant. Coal power complex. I'll briefly show it to you. It's just a bunch of coal power plants here. It was the perfect spot right next to some coal nodes and a bunch of water. I have all of the coal coming in through here. I'm creating compacted coal, which is why you see the sulfur there as well. And then it's mined directly here. So it's a bit of a a snake mess back here, but it works. All of the resources get brought down here. There's the water that I'm pumping out to cool down my coal. Now, back towards aluminum. See if I remember how to get there. I'm just going to follow the arrows because that's going to lead me straight there. Ah, ah, ah. Ooh. It didn't it didn't used to stop whenever I would bump into them. Alright, so we got another auto save, which is why it hitches like that. It hitches every time the game auto saves. Alright, this should lead to a cave. Which I can then oh, follow. Oh no, the spiders. I thought I cleared the spiders. God, I hit the spiders. They're persistent. They just follow you everywhere. Ah! Okay. Left path leads to the long 15 and the quartz deposit. Right leads to the aluminum complex. We'll hop out now. And I'll show you the aluminum complex. Hey, thank you very much, Matthew Smith. Ah! Oh, these guys are tougher. Oh, they changed them. I had to nuke him! <laughs> nuke you, you jerk! Alright. Let's go inside here. Oh man, there's a tree growing out of my building now! Oh man. I'm gonna have to change all of this. There's a tree growing out of my building now. Alright, so my aluminum was extremely difficult to get done. And this is my, my least favorite one because it just looks like a mess. <laughs> but I got it working and I don't want to touch anything. Because if I touch anything, it's going to ruin my entire production line. Because everything depends upon aluminum. I've got aluminum going to my old factory. I've got aluminum going to my new factory. And it's a primary ingredient for literally everything that I produce. And I've got it working. I did all the math. And it might not look very good, but I'm not going to change it for fear of ruining everything. In particular... I've got my battery factory over here. This is my battery plant. There's another tree just right in the middle here. This is my battery plant, and this is powering all of my drones. And drones, <laughs> it looks like a greenhouse with all the trees growing in my plant now. Ah, 
Yeah, the batteries are essential to drones, and if I stop producing batteries, or if there's even a glitch in my battery production line, my drones stop working, they stop uh, delivering resources to all of my other factories in the entire facility. Everything I've built just stops. Oh, wow, it's like a greenhouse. Look at all of this. You can barely see anything. All right, uh, let's see. Oh, those, it's a radioactive monster. That's new. Back on it. All right, hold on. I got to get to my car. We're going to take the road. It'll be safer if we take the road. And presents are falling from the sky in this game because it's Christmas. Of course, they're going to have a Christmas, uh, a Christmas event. Well, the radiation level is still strong from where I put my nuke. Well, I don't want to get killed because of radioactivity. Here we go. All right, back in the buggy. Hold on, I, I need to light another cigar. Quartz Depot, Long 15, and Aluminum. Oh, sorry, it's probably called Long 15. Oh, shoot. Crap. Aluminum Complex, Long 15, this way? Ah, oh, jeez. Everything's so overgrown now. I'm glad I left notes for myself. Otherwise, it'd be really difficult. Okay. This is gonna lead me over my nitrogen well. This is the back end of my battery plant. That's the tower of power. It's just a whole bunch of batteries. In case my nuclear plant shuts down, which has happened before, but so far so good. And then this is a road. It's gonna take me straight to the Lung 15. There's my nitrogen well. Ah! Oh, capsized the frickin'. Stop it! Oh. There we go. And there it is, off in the distance. Isn't it a beauty? My masterpiece factory, the Long 15. We'll take the train out so that you can see a good shot of it, but I'll show you the factory first. Why? Oh, man. Those stupid plants. I had this all cleared and then they up update the game and then all the vegetation respawns. Okay, here we go. Almost there. Welcome to the Long 15. And you'll see why it's called the Long 15 in a minute. What? Come on, why won't the door open? Oh, wow, that's a glitch. That's a glitch. Oh, there's a car in there already. Right, I already had a car in there. Okay, here we are. So, I should probably start at the other end so that it makes sense. But these are the smelters. This is where all the raw resources are smelted. I've got iron ore being smelted into iron bars over there, copper ore being smelted into copper bars over there, and then both lines are fed 
down the middle of the factory, and then I just uh, divert the resources to the right or the left as necessary. I've got steel being created with iron ore in combination with coal over there, and then uh, these copper bars are used exclusively for copper powder, which I need for the particle accelerator later. There's the crystal ore that's used to create glass and other things like that. And here we go, this is the, the bulk of all of the ore that is uh, deposited into my factory uh, from the drones. So these are all the drone ports. You can see limestone, quartz, caterium, batteries, iron, copper, and I'll show you what it looks like from the outside. I found a giant crater and I just built my factory in this crater. Oh, hold on, my power. And then I put all of these drone ports around the perimeter here. And then all the resources this factory needs to function are flown in on drone. And then this is my drone that provides batteries to all of the drones. So it's complicated because I got to provide batteries for the drones so that they can have power to deliver all of the resources to my factory. And if the batteries stop at any point, the entire factory shuts down. But yeah, these are all my drone ports and it's a tricky operation, but I've got it working. There's where the train comes in. And then it goes around there back towards my old factory. But anyway, let me go floor by floor so you can see how this thing looks. If I can get down there. There we go. All right, so the resources come in from the drones. They get sorted into all of these vats and then placed on conveyor belts that gets sent down for smelting. And then these are sent up because these are already refined components and I need them for um, other assemblers that are upstairs. And I have the math calibrated perfectly. Everything is green, everything is working. I have very few instances of uh, machines going idle. It happens every now and again, like at the very end here, you'll see something go idle for a little bit briefly, but mostly everything is calibrated perfectly. And this particular layout only required a few power slugs, so I didn't have to overclock things too much. All right, so that's floor one. Here's floor two, factory floor. All of the raw material is sent up here. So there's the raw copper. And then uh, these constructors are making intermediary uh, components from the raw material. So uh, copper wire, <clears throat> for example, or copper sheeting. I've got screws being made um, from iron. All of the intermediary components are then sorted into these middle conveyor belts and then get lifted up to the next floor above where all of the intermediary components are, com are combined into more advanced things. And uh, you need a lot of wire and screws. You're gonna see tons of wire and screws and sheeting. This is steel pipes and steel bars. And that's caterium wire. Then I've got an ammunition factory. This is disconnected from most of my factory. But basically when I was done with my factory, I wanted to craft ammunition. So I've got all of the different ammunition types available in the game being produced in this little square section with a glass roof. And then I have them sent to storage here and I have everything full. I think I even have nukes. Yeah, I've got my nuclear vat completely full. And then anything extra, I just sink it in the awesome sink. My awesome sink is, yeah, I've sunk quite a few items in the awesome sink. So that's my ammunition factory. Now let's take the staircase up to the final floor. Uh, 
right here. And this is the end of the line. There's the final awesome sink that everything gets sunk into. This is my particle acceler accelerator, which takes a ton of copper powder, and that's about it. But even it will send its items around the back. So everything that these uh, advanced machines make send all of their items into the conveyor belts, which then go back to the beginning of the factory and loop around so that advanced components can be fed to all of the other machines that need advanced components to create their final components. I have it set up so that I'm creating exactly enough of everything I need to create everything in the game, including the space elevator parts, which I don't need anymore as I've completed all of the challenges, but they sink for a ton of credits, for a ton of points. And there you go. I then have everything fed to my train station. This is where the train comes in. And then if there's any access, if my train is full, it goes on the conveyor belt and gets sunk down there. All right, the last thing I want to show you is my nuclear power plant, if the train will arrive. <clears throat> these are all of the transfer stations for my train. Each of these should be full, or nearly full. And I only transport things that are necessary for the operation of my um, nuclear power plant. So I make sure that the receptacles on this end and on the other end of the station, or the other end of the line, are full. Okay, so there's where the train is now. It's at my nuclear power plant. Uh, and there's my old one. Is it going north or south? If it's going south, then we'll just wait for it to come back to the long 15, which is right here in the crater. Those are all my drones moving. If it's going north, oh, it is going north. All right. Kenneck82 says, really inspiring slash intimidating for a noob. Play on. Well, <laughs> It's one of those things where um, it was intimidating to figure out this game. The problem with this game is when you start the game and, you, and you're learning it, your factory just ends up looking like a big bowl of spaghetti. And you get lost and you forget which machine does what and it gets confusing and difficult to play. And I, the challenge for me is I wanted everything to look neat and tidy. And so I, um, you know, it'll be faster if I just run. And so I, I wanted to challenge myself by building a factory where everything was being created, all the math was right, and it didn't look like a noodle factory. So those are most of the drone ports that are putting the raw materials into the Long 15. Uh, I've got a crystal port over there, I've got um, copper there, and that's iron, and then I even have some down there with lots of lighting. Yeah, there's copper being mined at the bottom of the crater, and then the drones just fly on up and deposit it in the long 15. So there it is. I've got the train depot held up by all of that steel support. And then the train tracks just go right through the crater. They hug the rim of the crater here, and there it is, the long 15. And then my son came in and put a little sign himself. He, uh, he was role-playing as a factory inspector, and so he put a sign over there that says, Gavin tested and approved. <laughs> Gone Home says, would you do a restart and stream of this game? Probably not. I, I This is one of the guilty pleasures of mine. Games like this in Valheim, where I can just sit down and I don't have to talk and I don't have to be entertaining, and I can just be creative and just build something. It's how I wind down and it's... It's fun. Um, also, I don't know if the views would be worth it <laughs> because I know that there are plenty of people who are really interested in stuff like this, like me, uh, but uh, are they as interested in as they are in the other games that I play? Probably not. I'll take a look at satisfactory videos on YouTube and very few of them have many views. So I know there's an audience out there. I just don't think it's as big as like Fallout, right? So I probably wouldn't start creating content 
based on a game like this. Ooh. Oh, the power slugs respawned. I went and collected all the power slugs in the game. So they've respawned. Ah, ah, ah! I don't want to fall here because there's a cave down there filled with spiders. Hey, purple power slug. Oh, I guess that means all of the hard drives must have respawned too. All right, I'll show you the nuclear power plant and then I think that'll be it for today's broadcast. I found the best spot for a nuclear power plant is in the swamp because there's a giant waterfall with a whole bunch of uranium underneath it and the swamp has a big lake which is plenty of water to cool down your nuclear reactors. So, I just created a um, conveyor belt that brings all of the uranium into the basement of my factory here and then pushes it up through the floor directly into the nuclear power plants. Oh, there's the train! It's on its way back to the Long 15. There we go. So this is where all the materials that I need for the nuclear plant are deposited into all of these vats. And then they're put into these conveyor belts, sorted into these containers, and then uh, dispersed to all of the machines that need them. Uh, and this is a 100% efficient build. Um, there's no excess nuclear waste. All of the nuclear waste is converted into plutonium pellets, which are then uh, put into the particle accelerator to be recycled as fuel. Hey, thank you very much, Michael Cosmos. I love how they just, the, the, the charity donations keep on coming. So here's the nuclear waste that the nuclear power vats are creating. And as you can see, there's no buildup. They get uh, sorted down these conveyor belts and then primarily recycled by this in a blender because it requires uranium waste. And I've had it hovering around 338, 340 for months and it doesn't go up and it doesn't go down. So this is stable. And then using silica nitric acid and sulfuric acid, it produces non-fissile uranium, which then gets sent over here. The non-fissile uranium is combined with more uranium waste to create plutonium pellets, which are then fed into uh, this assembler, creating encased plutonium cells, which go here, which is turned into a plutonium fuel rod and then which is then sent into the awesome sink. Because plutonium fuel rods can be sunk, nuclear waste cannot. And there they are, all of my nuclear power stations. Everything calibrated absolutely perfectly. All right, let me get out of this radioactive area. I'm using up all of my radiation filters. Can I get to the top? There we go. And there's the waterfall that I was talking about earlier. So there's the waterfall. Behind the waterfall is a cave with the uranium. Uranium goes down that conveyor belt right there. You see how it's all yellow and glowy? That's all the uranium. It then goes into my basement. 
and then it's sorted in the basement far away from me so I don't take a lot of uh, radiation damage and then filtered up into the factory where it can be used. And then there's all of the water that's being pumped up to cool the factories. And then those are actually geothermal power plants. I found a couple of geothermal nodes here and I figured, well, I might as well make use of that power. It's free energy. Okay. And with that, I'm over time. I have a hard stop now. Thanks for joining me for today's Tuesday charity stream, everybody. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. And you guys really came in clutch today. We're at $5,836 on day two. Uh, we might we might not make our goal of 14,000. Perhaps that was a bit ambitious. I realize 2023 was difficult for so many of us. But I mean, if we can break 10,000, I'll be thrilled. If we can get close to 10,000, I will be absolutely thrilled. And uh, thank you everybody for your very generous donations. For tomorrow's broadcast, I plan to play more Fallout 76 so that we can explore the other quest in Atlantic City. And if we complete that, then uh, we've got time to play some of these other smaller indie games that might otherwise go un uh, go missed, go undis got, uh, undiscovered. Thank you all for joining me. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And I'll see you again very soon with more lore videos and more live streams. By the way, if you're watching the video on demand, the donate button and link is up and active even when I'm not live. So you can go ahead and click on the link and donate offline, and I'll see it when I come back for tomorrow's broadcast. Thanks again. See you later. Bye-bye.